Hi, my name is Kelly Singleton, and I am from Havre de Grace, Maryland. I often go to raptor photo shoots to photograph birds of prey up close. I use these images as reference for my paintings. These birds usually have endured injuries and cannot be released back into the wild. They end up as educational ambassadors. I went to one such photo shoot sponsored by a state park on the eastern shore of Maryland. A handsome female red-tailed hawk was included. She had a wing injury and was missing the primary feathers on her left wing. I had asked her handler if she could be moved to a nearby tree that had caught my eye. It was a loblolly pine with an interesting root system that jutted from the ground. Her handler obliged. When I saw her perched on the tree root, I loved how the texture and color of the tree bark mimicked the pattern and color of the red tail's plumage. The pine needles even matched the color in her tail. She was harmonious with the surroundings. I immediately thought, that's a painting. Since I was using watercolor as my media, I had to begin with a fairly tight line drawing. Watercolor is transparent and unforgiving. Mistakes are hard to cover up. The reference photo I chose to work from, unfortunately, showed her injured side, so I had to fix her wing. I poured through books and images on the internet and was able to reconstruct it. I then decided I wanted to add a mouse in her talons to tell more of a story. The problem was I didn't have any good reference of mice. I remembered my mom had frequently trapped mice that got into her basement, so I asked if she could save the next victim for me. <laughs> sure enough, she trapped one, and I now had a dead mouse that I could pose just as I wanted. I sketched and photographed it, then put it in the freezer for future use. Hey, I may need another dead mouse someday. <laughs> Once I was finally happy with my line drawing, painting began. This was a time-consuming piece. Many thin layers of pigment were built up to achieve the color and detail I wanted. This piece is quite special to me. In 2006, Red Tail was juried into the Woodson Museum's annual Birds and Art Show. It was my first appearance in this show. I was so thrilled and honored to be included.